From Monday, people who have a CT value of 35 or more following a PCR test will be classified as COVID negative and will not have to isolate. This brings Hong Kong in line with the mainland standard and is expected to make border crossing smoother. The government announced that starting on Monday, people who take a PCR test and are found to have a CT value of 35 or above, which is usually highly unlikely to be infectious, will not be deemed to be COVID positive and will not require isolation. A higher CT value indicates a lower viral load. The change aligns Hong Kong's CT value standard with that of the mainland. It comes after concerns were raised that the discrepancy inconvenienced cross-border travelers. Currently, people from Hong Kong can enter the mainland if they have a negative PCR result with a CT value of 35 or above, obtained within 48 hours before departure. But some private laboratories in the city only classify test results with a CT value of 40 or higher as negative. The government said the new standard will help in the return to normality. It will be applied in free and self-paid tests at all testing institutions recognized by the government. Results obtained from self-paid tests can be used to cross the border. Those with a CT value of 35 or above and are already in isolation will receive a text message by noon on Monday telling them that they can go out again. But people who tested positive through RIT tests and reported to the government will still be restricted by the isolation order. The government says this is because RIT tests do not show CT values and are less sensitive in detecting the virus than PCR tests. Hong Kong University virologist Leo Pun says the government's move is logical. Asked whether the change would allow some newly infected COVID patients to slip through because they have a high CT value, Pun said that's possible but not a concern. We have to bear in mind that in the community, there are so many cases around. Now we're talking about 10,000 cases or now maybe sometimes even have a 20,000 cases. So um, there are a lot of people such infectious in the community already. So missing a few percentage of these people would not make a major public health uh, impact. Hong Kong University epidemiologist Ben Kaling said the mandatory isolation order for all positive cases should have been scrapped half a year ago.